Hey everybody, welcome back to TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Again, it's TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Thank you guys for watching. I've been super busy today. I'm always looking for studies, looking for opportunities, talking to you guys. By the way, any of you guys can reach out to me, Dan at TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. Or you can call or text me, 949-415-6256. Or follow me on any of my social networks. I got the links on YouTube if you're watching. Or if you're on the blog and you're watching, go to my bio and you'll find all my social media links as well. So today I talked to a bunch of people and um, one common theme, I had a, lot of, had a lot of teleconferences and one common theme amongst a lot of research clinics, especially a lot of brand new research clinics or people just thinking about starting research clinics is they wanna put themselves in, in a box way too early. And I recommend you do not do this for a number of reasons. Number one, I understand we all have goals and we all have passions and we all prefer some things over others. But you, especially in business, right, you've got to be able to react to what the market is giving you. So if you do a certain type of trials and there's just not a lot of those kind of trials out right now, you have to be willing to adapt. You have to roll with the punches, right? A lot of people don't like Floyd Mayweather, but one of the things he does better than anyone else in history probably is counterpunch. Like he reacts to what you're doing and you see with his shoulder rolls and all that stuff. Um, I want you to translate that into the clinical research world. And what do I mean by that? You want, you never want to limit yourself to any one thing. You don't want to put yourself in a box. If you have a plan for doing something, do it, pursue it, but by all means, when you open your doors for business, make sure that you can accommodate what the market is willing to give you. And this way, you can remain in business when the opportunities that you really do want to pursue are there in front of you, all right? So a good example of this is someone who wants to do a phase one study when there's just not a lot of phase one studies out there. And you know, not being able, not being willing to do phase two through four studies when there are more of those kind of studies out there. Number one, if you want to do phase one studies, you want to build relationships with these CROs, with the sponsors, with the medical monitors, with the project managers. And you do that, you get more opportunities for doing that if you participate in more phase two through four studies. If you wait for all the phase one studies, I mean, you may only get one phase one study a year if you're lucky. You know, some of some of the larger clinics get more, but if you're strictly going to limit yourself to just phase one studies, you're not going to get many chances to impress a pharma or a CRO. But if you do phase two through four studies and you do a really good job for them, you now have their attention and you can approach them and say, hey, I want to do phase one studies. Um, so that's that's what I wanted to talk about today is don't limit yourself don't put yourself in a box same thing with any other indication just replace phase one with an indication that you want to do and then look at what the market's giving you and be flexible be willing to adapt and if that means finding another doctor to do those kind of studies that's what you got to do if it means finding a different source for getting the study participants that's what you gotta do. Let me know if you need help with any of this. My consulting firm can help you. Dan at theclinicaltrailsguru.com, 949-415-6256. Be adaptive, be a counterpuncher. Don't put yourself in a box too early, all right? Establish yourself, get your business off the ground and running, and then you can start focusing when you start getting more market share and more credibility from the sponsors and CROs, all right? Thank you guys for watching. This is Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Take care.